Good morning, holy scary. It's a no makeup kind of day. I have been running around. Uh, Mark wasn't able to make it up from the city this morning, so I had to go pick up his car. I ended up just dropping it off at Lou's, who is our mechanic for an oil change and a tune-up. And you guys, Lou is the best. Lou is the best mechanic I've ever had in my life. Like when I say like, I got a guy, I got a guy. Like he's my guy. Like he does all of the work on both of our cars and he's just, he's the best. And he does really good work and he's super affordable. I asked him if I could film him a little bit and he said, yeah. So I'm gonna show you Lou's right now. Film me real quick. <laughs> you filmed me real quick? Yeah. Okay, do you know what YouTube is? No, I don't know what YouTube is. Okay, YouTube... YouTube is something that I use to, on the cars. Okay. A tube. A tube. To, to the fuel line, like. Okay. We call it a tube. Okay. YouTube is an online platform where people can create videos and a share platform? them with... platform? Platform. Like, you, when my truck backs up? Yeah. Dock, loading yeah, dock? yeah. That's a platform. Uh-huh. Okay. So, you can share videos that you make. What's a video? You know what a video is, Louie. A movie, you mean? Yeah. Why don't you say movie? Okay, movie. Okay, thank you. So, like, I can create a movie and put it on this website called YouTube, web. and other people can watch it. Okay. A so, web. A website. Uh, okay. <laughs> Are you just being silly? I'm not being silly, okay? Okay. okay. <laughs> I'm from Portugal, okay? Okay. So, I am making a, a movie, and I want you to be in it. Can you just say hi to everybody who's going to watch it? Hi, everybody that's going to be watching can you say your name? My name is Luis Ferreira. And you're from Portugal? I'm from born and raised in Madeira Island, Portugal. Okay. And you moved here when? 1957. Okay. I was 11 years old. Mm -hmm. Do you like it? Do I like it here? Yeah. Oh yes, this is the best country in the world. Yes. Why? Why? Yeah. Because there is if you want to work, there's plenty of opportunity here. There's mm -hmm. endless opportunities where you don't have in other places. Mm -hmm. And uh, when did you start this auto place, the auto shop? This auto repair shop? Mm -hmm. Well, I started working on cars when I was 12. Mm -hmm. And I went on business for myself uh, in 1971, in June of 71. Wow. Yeah, I mean, 50 years. Wow. Plus. And he's the best. I'm the best. He is the best. There's nothing better. Nope. Nope. No way. He's my guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas to everyone. And a Happy New Year. And I hope we get out of this mess we're in right now. Me too. Okay. Thank you, Lou. Thank you. Okay. Bye. So now I am at my client's house. We are getting a delivery of some cool chairs. We ordered these chairs like six months ago. The design direction has kind of shifted a little bit, but it is a white glove delivery. So I don't have to set up anything. So they're gonna be here shortly. Oh my God, they arrived. Look, look at how pretty these chairs are. These are from Burke Decor. This is the Corbin chair in the color smoke. Now I thought these would be a little bit more brown, but they on camera they look brown, but in person they almost look like an olive green. They are stunning. They have these beautiful rounded backs with this brass. Oh, I, these are prettier than I had imagined. So these are pretty expensive. They were 1600 bucks for the pair, but I think they are gorgeous and perfect. Now I just have to figure out where the best place to put these would be. Um, Alan, my client, obviously has a TV, um, but it's not that important to him and he doesn't want the TV to be the focal point of the living room. He's not a big TV watcher, um, so when he has his guests over, they mostly just have cocktails and conversation and talk. So he wants this more to be like a conversational space, more so than a like traditional living room, hang out, watch movie space. But he wants that option to be available, you know, if... Um, if everybody wants to watch a movie at night, but it's mostly just conversation and just entertainment. I've got to convince him to get rid of these pillows. These pillows came with this couch and they're just, uh, I think they're kind of like dating the space, but also making it a, a little bit too contemporary for what we are trying to achieve. So now that the chairs have arrived, I'm kind of rethinking our uh, shade decision that we had made earlier on in the design process. So we are working with the shade store in the city to 
build some really awesome fully automated uh, window treatments, which are going to be stunning. So Alan's inherent taste is very clean, elegant, elevated, and modern, but we are trying to make this space a little bit more of a kind of like a countryside retreat. So I think we need to go with something a little bit more rustic. The Shade Store is a fantastic place to get custom window treatments. They are pricey though, but if you have it in the budget, it's a fantastic resource to have. Here are some drapery fabrics and then here are some um, woven roller shades let's get these pillows out of the way it's throwing me off i like it but it's a little too shaggy uh, i like the weave but maybe this and a little bit darker now we're talking yeah oh my god okay now we're getting somewhere with all of like the mid-century colored wood and now the brass and this, it just, it needs more warmth to kind of bring in that country cozy feel. Like a sophisticated country, but um, definitely we need to go more warm than more cool. I am getting ready to wash some of these towels that I got on Black Friday. And we're gonna see, hopefully by the end of this video, if um, they puff up like the label has said. So before washing, after three washes, it's gonna be one wash, but um, we're just gonna, test it out. I'll keep one separate so we can keep that as like the experiment standard and wash everything else. Um, I'll be able to show you tonight after one wash, but then I'll update you after three washes and we'll, we'll really get the full picture. All right. I don't know if you guys remember, but I talked about this detergent from True Earth. It's basically detergent that comes in a sheet. You guys, this stuff is great. Um, it works just as well as other detergents, like liquid detergents, but it's in a sheet. So if you're looking to make your home a little bit more sustainable and not use detergent that's in a big jug, um, check these out. I'll link them below. They're really, really cool. You only really need one um, large loads or like really dirty loads. Um, you, I put two in, but one would be fine for this. Well, that was a full day and it is 4.40. I think I'm going to do something that I very rarely do, is call it quits for the day. Um, I do have some laundry going that I will tend to and show you the outcome of the towels. But I think I'm just gonna like sit here and snuggle with this little baby and watch a movie. You guys, I never take time like this. I usually work until like 9.30, 10 o'clock at night. But I'm gonna make some dinner and snuggle with this baby and watch a movie. I feel so guilty, but I'm gonna do it. What are you guys watching, like TV or movies wise? I just started watching this really strange show called The Beforeners. It is set in Norway. And it's about Stone Age people who time travel to modern day Norway. It's very interesting. <laughs> the language spoken is Norwegian, but they also like reference um, like old Norse and I think Mesolithic, which is like super interesting. Um, I don't know, it's it's okay. But I've been watching Succession, which is really good. Um, I started watching Girls, which is hilarious. Lena Dunham, amazing. She writes it, she, I think she directs it, she's in it. Like she's pretty fantastic. But I need a good show. Like I need a show that has like eight seasons with like 22 episodes per season. Like I just want, one show that can last me for the year you know just like an episode here or there every other week so if you have any suggestions let me know i just watched hannah have you guys seen that it's actually pretty good it's like about these girls who were are raised to be like assassins it's pretty good like I really like like suspenseful action but i also like like feel good stuff like the bull type Amazing, like the bull type and younger and Firefly Lane, so cute. Like feel good, but like women empowerment, great. Um, but I'm looking for something like um, like the Born Identity TV show, like that, but with like eight seasons. <laughs> Is that too much to ask for? Let's see, let's see. Virgin River, where are we in that? I forgot I was I watching this. Let's start there. I'm not in, I'm not ready for Christmas movie, but Virgin River is pretty darn close. It's pretty darn close to Christmas movie vibes. Okay. You're doing give me another big push, okay? All right, so Virgin River is cute and all, but it wasn't totally doing it for me. So we are gonna play Netflix roulette. <laughs> 
this is a new game that I've made up. What you do is you go over to like TV shows or movies. We're gonna go to movies. Then you just close your eyes, swipe down, and then swipe over and just hit go. And then you're gonna watch whatever comes up. And I don't know what it is. <laughs> we'll give it five minutes. If it sucks, we'll do it again. Wild Things, 1998, desire, greed, and manipulation swirl around two teens and a high school guidance counselor during a twist-filled police investigation in a resort town. All right. Let's go. <laughs> Bye. Towels are dry. This is the freshly washed and dried towel. This is the one right out of the package. I can definitely tell the difference after one wash. Um, the label says uh, full potentials in three washes. So I'll keep you updated, but this is pretty exciting. I like how these feel now. They're actually quite a bit nicer than I originally thought. And they're still having the sale right now. That's still, I think you can get them for $4.99 a piece. So if you need some towels, um, look at getting some of these sonoma the ultimate bath towel also something that i forgot to mention in the video yesterday if you are donating a whole bunch of towels check with your local animal shelter or with your local vet because they always need towels i donate all of my extra towels to them and they really really appreciate it so check um with your local vet and see if they need some towels all right well i gotta fold these towels um and get to bed so i will see you all tomorrow okay bye